Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do what you saw in the intro. So, um, I already have my song, which is switching, I mean, no, Stone Cold by Rarn. Um, and then, um, I just have a clip here, it's Exotic's clip, and then, here's my ident. Yeah, so, um, pretty much you're going to want to pick a song that has a lot of beat, constant beat drops, or you won't be able to do this effect. So, yeah, so, now you're going to want to sync your clip up, and put markers in all the beats you want to use, including the one where you shoot. And so now to get started, unlink your audio and go to your beat where the kill is and cut cut the audio and like the in-game sound. And then you're just gonna wanna do this and you're just gonna drag this over there. And so now what you're gonna wanna do is go to retime curve and open retime controls. And then go here and click retime speed and unclick retime frame. And you're pretty much just gonna put a marker on all the beat drops. So, that, all the beat drops you're going to use. And so, yeah, I'm not going to use this one right here. But, um, yeah, and so now you're going to want to go five frames back from each beat drop. So, one, two, three, four, five. Put another one. One, two, three, four, five. And so on. And so now what you're going to do is drag this one down, this on um, the bigger one, and drag this down to 25%. And then drag this other one up all the way to 300% and then have your playhead on the marker and then drag this first um, little dot and line the back one up with it and then just do this for all of them and drag this one up and then shoot again doesn't have to be exactly 25% somewhere close to it And so yeah, that syncs up pretty much. Now what you want to do is go click on the clip, go down retime and scaling, um, make it optical flow, and then go down to re go down to resize filter, uh, smoother, find smoother, and just click that. And now what you want to do is right click and close retime curve, drag this part up, and then pretty much just select what you took away, bring it back over, and just put it back onto the marker. Now what you're going to do is right, right click on this, retime controls, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, add a speed point, make this 200, and then make this back part 50. So it's, it's going to look like this. So yeah, and you just mute your audio so nothing kind of carries over. And so now here... What you're going to want to do is, I'm going to leave a link in the description for a project file, and I'm going to show you how to open that and get it into Vinci Resolve so you can use the effects. Alright, so now in the description I'm going to link a Google Drive, so you're pretty much just going to download what's in there, and this will show up, and pretty much you just want to double click on it. It's called Tempest Presets 2, and it'll open DaVinci Resolve. You have to have DaVinci Resolve 17 for this, and Sapphire plugins. I'll link those in the description too. Alright, so now you're going to see this pop up, and just press OK. OK. And then it should open up again. It should open up a project in a sec. And so now you're going to see these in your uh, media pool. And pretty much you're just going to need power bins. So if you don't see that, go to view and then show power bins. Check that. And so now pretty much what you're going to do is go over here and then just um, you're going to want to go to power bins and then just like add a new bin and then pretty much select all of these and drag them into your new bin. And they'll be in your new bin, and if you have, and they'll pretty much just be in your power bins forever. So you can just use these whenever you want. So let's just go back to the project now. All right. So now, once you've done that, um, here's the presets. And so pretty much what you want to do is, see, I have this little beat drop here. I don't have anything on, so anything for. So I'm just gonna put this little beat impact here, and pretty much just go two frames before one, two, and drag this over, and it'll. So yeah. And now, um, what you want to do is, um get the, the red, green, or purple one, and pretty much you're going to drag it over, so I'm just going to start with the purple one. And just a note, um, if you drag it from the front, there won't be color. You have to drag it from the back to extend it. So keep that in mind. And, and now what you're going to do is get, no get another one, so there's a green, 
extend that from the back. And then for the last one, we'll just get the red one. And there, and line that up with the marker. So it's just like so it's really laggy, but um, now what you're going to do is, where all these, when these change, um, go two frames, and then just drag this little beat impact over there, so it kind of looks a little bit smoother. So now, um, it should look like this. That looks really cool, and then now there's just another thing I added. It's called my it's my Y impact um shake. So just drag that on your beat, and it'll just and so pretty much it's just gonna give you a little Y impact. And um it, it should have all the keyframes, but you don't have them for some reason. Um this is for the Y impact. You have it there and keyframe it to start at one, and then go one, two, three, four, five, and bring it back down to zero. And then for the tilt shake, um the start just have it at um. Oh, uh, I know that's the wrong one. Have it at four and then go to the end and make it like 0 0.1. And so, yeah. So, if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure to drop a sub. I'm re we're really close to 1,000 subs, so I'd, I'd like to hit that in the next month or two. But, yeah, peace.